I start on this, I will say that of course this might need some, you know, changes, some prioritizing for it to actually work. But my father is building up a small business where he is going to be a counselor. And he recently suggested that he at least currently is planning to it's not set in stone he would be taking calls all hours of the day you know all 24 hours he did this when he worked with i think it might have been the homeless and you know basically you know, some some of the people who might be calling, their, you know, if they don't get through, they might hurt themselves or someone else, you know. They might not be there to call again, you know, the nearest, you know, working day or whatever, so. And it got me thinking that, well, we both agreed on this, that basically every, you know, every therapist, psychologist, anyone in that kind of position should have some kind of system with this. I would say that at least a mildly trained I guess secretary is the at the phone, you know, and have someone there to answer the phone preferably twenty hours a day twenty four hours a day. And basically just, you know, they would ask them a couple of questions trying to determine, okay, is this life or death, or could this wait until, you know, maybe tomorrow or something. And, you know, as soon as possible, they would get to talk to a trained, you know, psychologist, therapist, whatever. Whatever the case might be in that particular place. And... Yeah, I, I just think that we should try to realign some funds, try to get a system like this working. I can already hear all the people screaming that, oh, there will never be enough money. It would cost a lot less to help people before they do something than it does to keep them in jail. That actually costs, you know quite a few tax dollars, you know, or if you're not using dollars in your particular country, whatever the currency might be, and it would probably be a lot cheaper to just have, you know, someone help them, and then, you know, that that's the cynical and the pragmatic, you know, approach, and then there is just the humanist we we could be saving people's lives this way someone who ends up killing someone else or themselves or raping sometimes this can be prevented if they can get in touch with someone who will listen to them who will try to help them with their problems again i know this isn't something we could, we could do do overnight. I just think it's something that should be attempted, you know. We should try to see if we couldn't make it work.